What's up, y'all? Another Sabbath day Bible study, Bible reading out of the Torah, Genesis 12. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go forth from your country, and from your relatives, and from your father's house, to the land which I will show you. And I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you, and make your name great. And so you shall be a blessing, and I will bless those who bless you, and the one who curses you, I will curse. And in you all the families of the earth will be blessed. So Abram went forth as the Lord had spoken to him, and Lot went with him. Now Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Now, uh, now Abraham was actually, is really interesting, Abraham was actually born in the year 1948 from creation. And, and as you guys know, in 1948, 1947-48 is when Israel was reestablished as a nation. And Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran, when he left his father's house. And that would be uh, another couple years to get to that point in our timeline. Abram took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his nephew, and all their possessions which they had accumulated, and the persons which they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan. Thus they came to the land of Canaan. Abram passed through the land as far as the site to Shechem, and the oak of Mor Moreh. Now the Canaanite was then in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your descendants I will give this land. So he built an altar there for the Lord who appeared to him. And then he proceeded there, from there to the mountain on the east of Bethel and pitched his tent. With Bethel, Bethel on the west and Ai on the east. And from there he built an altar to, to the Lord and called upon the name of the Lord. Abram journeyed on, continued toward the Negev. Now there was a famine in the land, so Abram went down to Egypt to sojourn there. For the famine was severe in the land. And it came about when he came near to Egypt that he said to Sarai, his wife, See now, I know you are a beautiful woman. And when the Egyptians see, see you, they will say, This is his wife, and they will kill me, but they will let you live. Please say that you are my sister, so it may go well with me because of you, and that I may live on account of you. It came about when Abram came to Egypt, the Egyptians saw that the woman was very beautiful. Pharaoh's officials saw her and appraised her to Pharaoh. And the woman was taken into Pharaoh's house. Therefore he traded, treated Abram well for her sake, and gave, gave him sheep and oxen and donkeys and male and female servants, and female donkeys and camels. But the Lord struck Pharaoh in his house with great plagues because of Sarai, Abram's wife. And then Pharaoh called to Abram and said, What is this you have done to me? Why did you not tell me that she was your wife? Why did you say she is my sister, that I took, you, that I took her for my wife? Now then, here is your wife. Take her and go. Pharaoh commanded his men concerning him, and they escorted him away with his, with his wife and all that belonged to him. That's the end of Genesis 12. God bless you guys.